It's home to one of Dubai's most famous attractions. Now the Mall of the Emirates is getting a lift from more and more visitors coming to shop in Dubai. Mall owners say customer traffic is up 15 percent from last year. We see it as a growth coming out of a fairly low uh, period during 2009. Uh, during the economic recession. So we've seen gradual growth during 2010 and now a large upswing during 2011. And we see it as a long-term trend, not just a short-term thing. With the turmoil in Bahrain, regime change in Egypt, and unrest in Oman, Libya, and Syria, analysts say Gulf consumers see Dubai as the place to spend their money. Retailer Shalhoub Group handles hundreds of luxury brands in the Middle East, from Louis Vuitton to Dior. Today, there is an overlook, both from local companies or international companies, that the Middle East could be, after China and some of the uh, uh, Southeast Asia, the second uh, uh, part of the world in terms of growth. Shalhoub says the region accounts for just 3% of global luxury retail today, but that number is set to double within a decade. The retail industry in the UAE set to grow from an estimated $21 billion this year to more than $28 billion by 2015. Promotions like the semi-annual shopping festival are luring consumers from around the world. So if you look at uh, maybe the Saudis who come here or uh, from Oman, anywhere, and then you add the Indian subcontinent, we have a huge number of tourists who come in from these places to shop in Dubai. Good news for the land of a thousand and one malls that are starting to fill up again. Lara Satrakian, Bloomberg, Dubai.